Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Cadence of Hyrule. Today we are continuing our awesome musical adventure through the game. Last episode we began everything, and as you can see, we've explored a good chunk of it. I sort of wanted to continue exploring through this dark forest. It's been rather difficult so far, um, because this dark forest is sort of the lost forest. Uh, depending on where you go, you sort of end up all over the place. So we're just gonna keep trying at it and see how it goes, really. Hopefully it turns out pretty well. Um, and if it doesn't, then we could try exploring some other areas. I'm hoping that starting from here, Oh geez, haven't played in like an hour or the first episode and then had some lunch. Um, but, oh geez, there it is, okay. But hopefully everything turns out pretty good. Ah, nope, no it doesn't. I mean, I started with like two hearts, so I, I think I can get a pass on that one. Um, I don't have enough, oh no, I do have enough diamonds for plenty of stuff here. I could either get a torch, a dig dash, a key, long attack. I wanna get the long attack, but I don't quite, can't get a 40. Like, I feel like that's gonna be really good though. So it might be worth waiting for it. Hmm. Cause I don't know what that key will really be for just yet. So I'm just gonna hold out, keep it going. I'm gonna warp back here. This, I've died on this level so many times. Oh, no, I'm just trying to get out of here. That's not working out so well. Jeez, I'm back down to one health already. Right. <laughs> oh no. So I know that I can go here and then go up. There we go. There we go, okay, now we got the shovel back. That's always good. We've never gone into this little tree, I don't think. So I'm gonna check that out in a moment. So it seems like they attack, wow, okay, every lane adjacent to them. So that's why I gotta be careful with there. And I also should check to see if, yeah, any of that dropped health or anything. It didn't, unfortunately. Whoa, it's Tingle. Hey, hey buddy. Okay, he's snoozing, what about you? Are you an adventurer? I've always wanted to be a hero like you, but I can't even hold a sword. Oh well, a scrub can dream. You can still be a hero. You don't need a sword to do heroic things. So that's all he has to say. Okay, well, let's see what's going on here. There's some kind of musical thing, Majik. Ooh, 10 rupees. So if I do this, I can't even get on there from over here. There's like some kind of thing blocking it. Ah, you're kidding me, <laughs> that was a trick. Oh, come on. Oh, well, uh, back I go, even though I have five diamonds. I can't believe that. <laughs> what, what a dirty trick that was. Okay. I know these guys have beaten me up a bunch, but it's hard to not do anything about it. Ah, that was all me. There we go, come on. Ah, I am not doing well. <laughs> I'm just trying to get out of here. Okay, maybe I should, because I want to get in here so I can get back to that place. I want to see if there's maybe anything I can do. It's it's tough to see, though. I do like how a lot of the sound effects, though, are from other classic Zelda games. That's been pretty cool to see. Okay, I'm getting up here. Let's see if I get a diamond again, because this area is pretty easy to deal with. If I wasn't a dingus, what the heck is going on? I'm trying to hit the, to the beat. It's just not working out for me. Okay, nothing over there. Like I get a decent amount of rupees just by hanging out sometimes. Ow. But I just gotta be careful of everything else. There's another diamond, so we're up to six. I feel like that spear is really gonna help me out with combat, because I think how it's gonna work is that I can be one space away from enemies. Anyways, let's try going back in here. Now that I know that this guy's a total jerk, why does he just explode like that? I'm stuck. Uh, oh no, I'm not. It's playing music. Tingle's music puzzle is an interesting one. Keep your eye on these bars at the bottom of the screen. If you move whenever a bar reaches the middle, you'll match the rhythm correctly. Cool. That was really fun. Oh, I want to see more like that. Whoa, whoa. Uh, <laughs> Tinkle can't sleep with such ruckus music playing. Well, thanks for waking Tingle up. He owes you something as thanks. For, for helping him wake up? Huh, all right. Tingle's dowser. You got Tingle's dowser. Assign it to A, B, X, or Y in the inventory screen. Using this in the Lost Woods will help you find your way through. Using it elsewhere may lead to, to finding treasures. Ooh. Tingle's been using Tingle's Dowser to help the map the Lost Woods. 
He was hoping to sell the map for a bunch of rupees, but you held Tingle, so... Okay. Huh. Well, that was certainly interesting. Now I gotta try really hard not to die, because I don't want to lose that. Or anything else, for that matter. So I actually want to... Where is it? I want to put that to Axe. No, Axe. There we go. What if I try it right now? Doesn't do anything at the moment. When I'm out here, though... Still doesn't do anything. Does it not? Well, let me try putting it to B then. Return to game. It doesn't seem to have a, a function. Huh. That's a B. Oh, man. There we go. Oh, geez. Okay, got it. I'm gonna destroy this stuff. I wanna try to get rid of these guys now. I don't know if they're gonna give me a diamond. And then get like this. Oh gosh, I was close. Oh man, I'm like super low on health. So we're back here again. And I'm back here. <laughs> no, get me out of here. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so sick of it. So if I go to the left here, I think it's gonna bring me back. It always does. Oh no. <laughs> it's just so loopy. What's up this way? This looks like it could be more Lost Woods. And indeed it is. So now I'm up here. I'm trying to get there, but I mean, I don't know if I even tried just going up. I mean, right now it'd be nice is getting some extra health. We got some wolves. Oh gosh, you got me. That was a good throw. Man, that's tough. This game is really tough. Oh wait, wait, wait. before we go, I did want to get, I can get a ring, I can get stamina regen dig. I really want this so. Let's go ahead and get it. You found a weapon, that's great. Your new weapon will be equipped automatically, but you can swap back to your old weapons at any time. Just press start to see them in your inventory. All right, cool. So I can't quite afford some of this other stuff. I don't like need a shovel right now, so I'll just leave that be. And I might as well teleport here. We'll try this new weapon out and we'll see how it goes. So do I have the weapon equipped at the moment? I don't know. I guess whatever is red is what I have equipped. Now each weapon works a little bit differently. Yeah, see that's what I want though, because that just means I have a bit of an advantage and I can just have strategy on my side. And that's really nice. So I probably want to clear through this whole level again, just so that we can not have to worry about it. See, I can do that. Isn't that amazing? Oh, that was good. I don't even know how I did that. There it is. Ah, oh, almost got him. There we go, we get two diamonds, a two for one deal, thank you very much. Maybe because we didn't take any damage. That could be it. Okay, so now I'm feeling a little bit more confident. Maybe I can go and deal with these guys a little bit. Who needs a sword? We got a spear. We can give this to the little scrub. Even though he can't equip it, apparently is a problem. Look at that. Now we can keep everybody at a safe distance. Now, does this weapon have a durability? It doesn't look like it. Oh man, that was easy, I dare say. <laughs> okay, well that's that's sort of the push in the right direction we need. <laughs> no, stop doing that. Okay, well we'll get to deal with them again. So going to the right doesn't help. I'm pretty sure going down doesn't help. I don't think I've gone up or to the right here. I guess we're about to find out. Well, actually I might have gone up. And now these guys can't even hurt us. Isn't that wonderful? Because we always have to be, because there always is just like one space around them and I, I walked into that, so that was my own fault. But in a typical well thought out situation, they can't hurt us at all. So we're getting a lot of diamonds because of that. So if I go here, yep. <laughs> oh, but I can trick it and get back over here. Isn't that nice? Now I don't really care too much about getting a diamond again here just because it'd be time consuming. So I'd rather do is go this way. Okay, this is new. Where am I then? I'm here, still. But pressing the button seems to be doing, is it doing something every time I press it? Like it makes a noise, but I don't know if that's actually doing anything. It's very weird. Is there a more description about it? Not really. Like I'm. I'm like pressing the button to the beat. 
ain't doing much. Oh, these ghosts only move when you're looking away from them? Like booze. Ow, this guy hit me, but it was worth it. The spear is so good. Okay, this is new. But once again, it's just gonna tell me I'm here. Isn't that confusing? Because when you hit opponents, they actually get knocked back once. There it goes. That is so good. Okay, let's try not to leave, because I got a couple of things I can check out around here. I mean, at least I'm figuring things out the old fashioned way by just going through everything and experimenting. Some chests, like this one, remain locked until you defeat all enemies on the screen. Oh, we got some keys. There's a lot of enemy variety here. Ow, not much I could have done it. No, I didn't want to leave, gosh darn it. That's gonna reset all the enemies. That's sort of lame. Ow, not much room to work here. Ow, man, he can hit diagonally. Yikes, and I don't have any things. Um, I didn't get any more Sheikah things. So we can either get cheaper shops or reject, reflex projectiles. Ooh, that sounds fun. Do I keep my, it looks like I keep my spear though. I feel like this would help in the long run because that makes this two. Look at that. I don't really need that many bombs, so I'm gonna leave it be. Okay, I feel like the Lost the lost Woods is helping, but it's also not helping. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna keep going for at least a little bit. So could I unequip this? You can't unequip it, but it is the torture reflection. Reflects all projectiles at the cost of some durability, can burn stumps and light up braziers. And then we also have the Ring of Charisma. Reduces the cost of items for sale in shops around Hyrule. So you can't unequip those kind of things. Man, I am not doing well. There we go. It's not an easy game though. That's something I'm really experiencing right now. Is that it's a super tough game. Which is why I'm tempted to start exploring the beach a little bit, but we still have plenty of time in today's episode. I'm hoping that we can start making the episodes longer from here on out. Come on. There we go. Because I can get quite a lot of rupees and stuff in one life. I've not had the chance to spend rupees yet, is the tough part. Come on, one of these has to give me some health, or not. And then I just did the same thing twice. Oh no. <laughs> I knew I knew what I was doing while I was doing it. Yikes, but those are things you lose. Really, that's crazy, you lose both of those. So that's actually not a good long-term thing to do. Man, what is this, hurts enemies when attacked. So I feel like this kind of stuff will be better once I get more heart pieces. Okay, so I can try going up at the least. The hard part is I don't know how Tingle's thing worked. They never really explained how I use it. Because like doing anything here, like it doesn't even actually make the noise. So like obviously it doesn't work here. Okay, there's a shovel back. Okay, there's some health I actually don't need. That's a first. Okay, oh, I was actually able to hit him before he could fire anything. That's good, uncommon. Let's go up this way, and I'll try to deal with these guys. That was good. Yeah, that guy throwing spears, I wanna get rid of, because he's the worst. Wait, did he drop his spear? Can I pick that up? No, but I can hit it. Weird. Hmm, can I attack gravestones? Can I at least read them? Nope, can't do anything with them. Good to know. But they just don't do much, so I can just avoid them. Now I think this guy over here, I don't know how he works. Ah, that's how he works. We get a Deku Seed, and we get one diamond. Very cool. I probably don't want to use up. Oh, am I supposed to use that rock for something? I mean, I don't see what it could be used for, but I'm sure there's something. And I didn't take any damage there, so that's good. Maybe I could like push the rock into here or something? That would be interesting. Hmm, 
that's doable. If I uh, try that out right now, and that's sort of the big thing about Zelda games, that you're supposed to explore, so I can't go in there, but maybe I could like push the rock in it. Whoa, it just keeps rolling though is the thing. No, it doesn't. Oh, it does, but okay. I don't know if there's much I can, there's definitely something I can do with that. It's just a matter of where am I trying to get it kind of thing. So, ah, I see. I could do this and then do that. Hmm. It's just a matter of questioning why do I want it here? Oh, but now it's stuck. Okay, well then maybe not. I don't really know what the answer is to this thing. I mean, maybe there's something secret up here that I can't see. Doesn't seem like it. I don't know, some of these puzzles are weird. Some of it might just be around for fun, but I doubt it. Just like just hanging out as little environmental pieces. That seems weird as well. There is a Sheikah slate up there, or Sheikah whatever it is. There we go. Ow, jumped right into that one. There's our diamond too, so that was it. What do I get here? Oh no. Does that, is that what that always is? Oh, tempo up. <laughs> Not gonna be too helpful. I guess an enemy could jump on that. That was 20 rupees, nice. So that's probably the big risk, is when an enemy jumps on it and maybe activates it. Anyways, I'm definitely activating this. I'm guessing we still have no idea where we actually are. No, this is showing up. But still, oh no, I, I placed a bomb by mistake. I didn't mean to do that. It still doesn't do anything. Oh, there's a key. I'm gonna guess that the water is poison to some degree. Yep. Was it worth it for the key? We'll find out. No, I don't wanna get poisoned again. I'm not getting that five rupees. Whatever, it's, it's not worth it if I die because I'm gonna lose all my rupees. Okay. Got it. Okay, there's a wolf hiding behind here. Yeah, you're not jumping at me like that. That's something they do that's really tricky is they try to, oh, that was cool. They try to pounce on you when you're trying to move away because they can pounce diagonally. Oh, I gotta be careful, my torch is almost out. Oh no, one of your items broke. Be sure to keep an eye on the durability of your items up here. Try to replace worn items before they break. I mean, not really too much I can do about that in this situation, but all right. So how am I getting you? It looks like I have a couple of options. There we go, give me that diamond. That was awesome. Still very low on health, but there is a couple more bushes I can maybe attack. Like that one and those two. So there was a couple ways I could go, right? I could go up here where there's a fair collection of enemies. But this is actually clearing out the map, so only this area is really the Lost Woods. Okay, good to know. And this stuff refreshes, is all the bushes. So like, if I really need to get some extra health, I might just wanna do this over and over again. I don't know if that's specifically what I wanna do. Oh, this is cool, we're back at the beach. I, I don't feel confident when I have two health though. So, let me head back. And I, I wanna keep to the woods for now. I think that's gonna be a good idea. I mean, I might be wrong. But what's interesting is that if you started as Zelda, you'd probably have a totally different experience, wouldn't you? You'd probably start in some other location, Hyrule Castle, presumably. I really hope that we get to play as Zelda at some point and that we're not just stuck as Link, because Link is cool, don't get me wrong, but Zelda is just as cool. Thought I just hit you. Do you have more than one heart? Oh gosh. Ow, I walked right into that one, literally. Okay. Oh gosh. They're making bees attack. There we go, I got him now. Come on, hope that hits him. Got him like that though. There it is. Okay, I'm getting some of my health back here, which is good. I have 100 rupees, which is cool. Oh boy. Nice. So what would happen if I'm, oh yeah, yeah I got another torch. If I, I land on one of these and there's nothing here, it just like doesn't do anything, which is good to know. Or if there was like something in the way, it can't bounce me back over. All right, so I could of course go up the steps. Did that hurt me? I don't think so. I think that was just the sound of him pushing it around. Okay, what's this way? 
Oh, the Sheikah Stone looks a little different. You'll need to defeat all enemies on the screen before you can activate it. Well, I sort of do that anyways most of the time. That was great. Problem is I, I, I need a torch to properly get over here. Yeah, get rid of this guy. There it is. So only one more enemy left, and there's also a um, enemy. There it is, that was awesome. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. But there's also an enemy chest over this way, which has multiplier-based vision. What does that mean? Uh, Provides more visibility depending on your beat combo. Can burn stumps and light up razors. Cool. So what's going on with this one? Whoa. Poison damage, oh, let's talk to the fairy. Hello, my love. Let's get you feeling better. Oh, well, thank you very much. I was actually at full health, but I appreciate it. So nice of you to come and see me. You can get lonely in here all by myself. I love how there's always a fairy of some sort in, in each Zelda game. Very cool. Nothing too much going on over this way. Uh, so this is multiplier-based damage. Infuse your current weapon with obsidian. So this is like infusion. Interesting, this is infuse your current weapon with an emerald, which would be poison damage. I think this this is potentially very powerful if I can keep the beat, but I feel like this is definitely, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this one, I think. So that's gonna, yeah, look at my spear now, it's poison tipped. That's actually really cool. I like that. I'm gonna head out of here, but now we know to come back if we ever need some health or anything, or if we wanna buy some more infusions. Uh. This chest is very special. To unlock the chest, defeat all enemies without taking damage and without missing a beat. Oh no. I will do my best. Ow. Okay. How was I supposed to know? Oh, dropping something now. Ow. I need to leave. I would love to pick up. What did I get there? A torch of wisdom and Oh, but I dropped my other stuff. I didn't know that happened that way. Okay, so the Torch of Wisdom reveals all items, even ones inside chests and other objects. Oh, can burn stumps and light brazers. I feel like I like that a lot, but is that better than the multiplier-based vision? Arguable, but I don't know. That has three diamonds in it. That's pretty big. Then we also have this scroll of enchant weapon. Temporarily increases your damage dealt by one, only one use. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this. No, do this. I need health back, so maybe that's why the fairy was so close. This is such an interesting game. Hell, my levels get you feeling better. There we go. So she'll refill me as much as I need. And she always has those those infusions, it seems. So I'm gonna try this. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'll try this one more time. Oh, no. That's not, that doesn't count. <laughs> Sorry. The hard part for me, of course, is doing this while also trying to keep the beat. Gosh darn it, every time with you, I don't expect that because it's totally new to me. No, that's deep water. Oh my gosh, this is not turning out very well. <laughs> One more time, for real. Nice, okay, no! Oh, you stinker! Okay, I'm gonna go get my health back, and I'm never coming back here again. That's not true, I will come back here at some point, but I'm just not skilled enough to deal with that at the moment. <laughs> Luckily, she seems to give us free refills. So, I'm fine with that. We'll go some other directions, we'll see how it goes, hope for the best, all that kind of stuff. So I could have gone up here, as you can see. Um, I don't know what it would have led for us, so we gotta find out. Oh, so we're actually in the back to a, like a grassier area. Hmm. What's to the left? Have I been to the left yet? I've not. Oh, this guy's like a proper guard. That's cool. A lot of this has like a lot of Link to the Past inspiration, which I like a lot. Man, there's a lot of enemies over there. I want to play Link to the Past sometime soon. Hopefully by the end of the summer. That's my goal. I haven't really properly given it a playthrough before, and it looks like a lot of fun. And I, you know, I know it's sort of like, ow, okay, this is silly of me. Are you gonna come back here, Mr. Wolf, or Wolf, <laughs> are you gone? There we go, Oh, that was a Deku Seed, nice. I don't know when we're gonna need those. This poor guy is trying so hard. 
and then I do the same thing he was doing, basically. There we go, that was cool. Ignore ice, wait, something. What did that say? And we get plus one diamond. Uh, so where are those boots? Iron boots, move easily through shallow water and prevent knockback, wind effects, and slipping on ice. Ooh, that's actually gonna be pretty helpful for some places. We had that one puzzle before. That's really good. Oh, now, okay, we're back out here. Whoa, this is like properly a, um, like the area with, with like, I think the castle's to the left. Ow, okay, don't die, Link. There we go. That was good. There we go. So there's still more enemies around. But hopefully we can catch up with Zelda. That's what I really wanna do, is catch up with Zelda so that maybe we could end up, whoa, I didn't even do that. There's a little secret. Do I have a shovel right now? I do, okay. I might not need it, but I also might need it. So you can see there's like little barricades here. This guy's trying to get me. He can't quite yet. I can push this. The problem is, how am I gonna get it on the other side? I actually have no clue. Hmm. Let me try going back in. I mean, there might be some kind of trick to this. Oh, I see! Okay, I understand. Ah, that's tricky. I'm supposed to move him, because he moves in the opposite direction that I do. I thought the goal was not that. Whoa, do we get a piece of heart? Very cool, so we're halfway to another heart piece, which is our full heart container, which is awesome. So we never defeated that other enemy, which is over there. He's a blue one, which I think is more difficult than the green ones. I love the music in this game, by the way. It's such a cool game. I still can't believe like how wonderfully unexpected this was as a game. There we go, you definitely wanna sneak up on him like that. Oh, there's a Sheikah tablet. There it is. Oh boy. He didn't make any uh, duplicates, interesting. I think it was just because there were, there were things in the slots where the duplicates were supposed to be. B! No, leave me alone. Does this guy have a boomerang? No, he had a bow and arrow. I wonder if he can get a boomerang in this game. I would hope. It seems like this game has everything in all the Zelda games. Now, I think there might be a secret. Not here, but there. Whoa. What is this? Oh, I'm nervous. I don't like the looks of this. They're coming for me. Whoa, whoa! Watch it, buddy! There we go, I got him! What do you do about this? Ow! Oh no. There he is. Okay, but how do I get up? I don't know, was that just a coincidence that I was able to get those guys? Because I can't get these two. That was so weird. Or maybe it's something with the iron boots. Can I unequip them? It doesn't look like it. Huh, I might have to come back at some other time when I can actually get up here. That was bizarre. It looks like there's some way I can, oh yeah, okay, I see this, I see this. I see this. this is where that torch becomes helpful. I didn't even see there was an item up here, but there is, and I get some bomb shoes. Also getting some health back. What's this way? So much. Honestly though, I don't know if I care, I wanna go see this uh, castle. I like Link's little run, it's so cute. Whoa. Hyrule Castle is protected by Octavo's magic. We need to defeat his four champions in order to pass. So I really, oh no, that's suddenly. Does that hurt? No, okay. I really might not be able to play as Zelda in this adventure. I feel like that would make me want to play through it again. Just as Zelda, because I want to see what that's like. I'll have to wait and see. But for right now, I'm taking a jog down this way. Oh, we're in Lake Helia, or Hylia. That's cool. A frozen grotto, grassland. Cause this is still the lost woods over this way, which I still haven't figured out, but I'll get there. It is interesting seeing like these markers, as you can see. So we need to explore Lake Hylia a little bit more. 
I did see a dude over that way. I'm missing the beat like crazy. That's not being helpful. There it goes. Ow. Why did I do that? I don't know what those things are. That's my first time really seeing those enemies. Oh, you're not an enemy. Have you spoken to the prince? I haven't seen him since things got chilly. Oh wow, yeah, the whole place is frozen. Why'd I do that? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Oh no, come on. There it is. Do I gotta get down there? I don't wanna jump down now, I don't think. So are these guys supposed to be uh, Zora? Uh, do you th do you know if Lake Hurley are safe to surf in yet? I hope so. Yeah, that guy did have surfboards, didn't he? I didn't know that was a surfboard or not. There we go. So here's another Sheikah thing that I'm probably gonna check out. Whoa, you got up here, that was crazy. There we go. What's up, friend? You have anything to say? Have you tried swimming in the lake yet? Some musician made the grotto too chill for my liking. Hmm. Let me get this over here. I don't wanna go south just yet. But I do wanna go across this bridge over here, which apparently our boots are about to wear out, so we'll find out soon enough. If, you know, they were holding me back before, but there is another sword down there you might be able to see. Can I just, I can't plop down that way. I feel like what stinks though, Whoa, <laughs> is that you can't really control what you have equipped a lot of the time. Gotta stop doing that. <laughs> Whoa, we got ring of piercing. Let me see that. So that is right here. Weapons can pierce through shields. Okay, yeah, we've gotten that before. Oh, I didn't see you. There it is. I wanna make sure I'm getting rid of as many enemies as I can. Yeah, that was over our damage at low HP, which honestly isn't as useful because my goal is to not have low HP. And look at this, there's a heart container just chilling out. Piece of heart, there we go, three out of four. Hmm, oh I see. Um, I might have done that wrong. As you can see, that's deep water. I see. Um, I might have to come back for that. Ow, that was unnecessary damage I took because I, th I think I get it. I'm gonna have to push that down, but from this side and then push it in, and that would get me a free sword. That sounds like it could be good. So I'm trying my best to, uh, you know, keep with doing the rhythm and not do the no beat mode. But it looks like there's a lot going on in here. There we go. And that wasn't every enemy. I Means every enemy I can reach at the moment. Whoa, what's going on here? They're like ghosts. The prince belongs to us now, don't worry, we'll keep him safe. <laughs> Are these guys not good? Ooh, we get some arrows, we get some bombs, we get some free stuff though. More bombs, I don't even have a bow yet for an arrow. So a lot of these guys just aren't saying anything. Hey Prince, are you all right? He's just sleeping on the surfboard. Yeah, he's snoring too. Okay, I was, I was wondering if that would wake him up. Uh, Well, I don't know what will wake him up. Maybe he really likes something, like pizza. And I just have to give him pizza, <laughs> the legendary pizza. So I don't know what enemies are still around is the thing, or how I can get to them. As you can see, there's another Sheikah Slate there, or Sheikah thing. Oh, there is a fish. No, I did the wrong one, darn it. Maybe this fish is the last one, it could be. Nope, for a second I really thought it was. Oh, but this is back, good. So I can, gotta be careful with this. There we go. And then push it like this. No, push it, push it. You can't? Well, what do you do here? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. I don't understand why. I could push it from the other side and it would go into the deep water. That's sort of lame. 
I have no idea how to solve that then. I thought I did. I do not. I'm sort of bummed. Is this pushable? It is. So at least now I can get back and forth. I don't know if that's permanent though. Whoa, we got more of the forest stuff here. Where am I now? I guess I haven't been here. I guess not. So I'm not finding Legends, or not Legend of Zelda. I'm not finding Zelda just yet. Ow, I thought that would be an item. The game sort of fooled me there. There we go. Ooh, two damage, plus two damage after digging. I haven't found like a, you know, like a dungeon or anything yet. I'm pretty sure they're in the game. I have no clue. <laughs> I'm not very good at exploring these games, I guess. I mean, I'm going all over the place. That's like the most important thing. Whoa, okay, got something secret. Oh, look at this guy. Can I break your stuff? I guess I can't. My shop is stocked well, ho ho! I, what? Buy something, well yeah, that's what it says, in, but it's backwards. Where did you get such a fantastic voice? I just, uh, where did I get such a fantastic voice? I just sing like nobody is shopping. I like his voice. Beetles? No, there aren't any beetles around here. <laughs> okay, so, can I get up here? Oh, I can. Thank you for the rupees, I guess. If you don't mind me taking. I can't break your expensive golden pots. 10 rupees for this, plus one dig brittle. I don't know what that means. Gives what you need. What does that mean? I mean, probably, it gives me what I need. Gives you what you need most, one use only. Huh, that is peculiar. But I gotta keep in mind that shop is there because that's gonna be very helpful in the future. My five rupees has appeared though, unfortunately. So what's down this way? Something else I haven't been to. It's very hard to tell where I've been and where I haven't, it seems. If I go to the right, I've been here, I've been there. So who is this really this one area I haven't been to? There's no, no uh, stone here. There we go, that's nice. That was good. Hit him with the stone. There we go. That's actually really being helpful. There we go. So I'm trying to use my environment to my advantage. This guy's the last dude. There it is. Now I don't have too much of a way to get up there unless I, there we go, we get Ring of Risk, which, uh, take a look. No, 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 down this way. Doubles damage dealt when at one or fewer hearts remaining. I think I like ring of piercing a little bit better. Oh, hey, look, we're back here. Huh. So I guess I should, that doesn't work. Huh. What's the point of that? I don't know, maybe at some point I get like a jump or something I can use. Isn't that weird? What's interesting is I'm trying to pay attention to those symbols. You see like the little purple symbol? I wonder what that means. Like I think that might mean shop. Here there weren't anything. Uh, here there's like another Sheikah thing, another ladder to somewhere, or like steps to a dungeon or something like that. Maybe not a dungeon, but you know what I mean. So like, there's a lot of interesting things everywhere. Right now it's just sort of hard to find out really where I'm supposed to be going. I feel like that's, that's sort of the thing about old school Zelda games. And the point is that you're supposed to be like, oh, you gotta explore and find that out for yourself. Which can be great at times and very confusing at other times. So now that my boots have worn out, let's try not this one. Where was that other one? I like how peaceful it is here. This one. Will this lift me up now? It will, so it was the iron boots that messed me up there. Which is very weird that it won't let me unequip them in those times of need. There we go. Ow, shouldn't have done that that way. But at least I got it. Oh gosh. I don't know how I hit him there. Like, did I just go at it diagonally? There we go. So this guy's gonna go at me, as you can see, but he's gonna hit the wall, or that thing. There we go, we did it. This time there were different enemies too. Hmm. 
So what does this chest have for me? A fire rod! You got the fire rod assigned to A, B, X, or Y on the inventory screen. This will launch a ball of fire dealing one damage in the direction you're facing. Is that a permanent thing? I have no clue. How can I equip it? Okay, yeah, it is like an equip like that. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I like that. And that uses, yeah, that uses stamina, which you can see on the bar on the top left. Interesting. So for right now, I don't quite need that. I'm curious to see what this will do. It apparently gives me what I need. As vague as that is, it does still sound pretty useful. Yeah, I'm gonna hit this guy with the rock. There we go. That was nice. So I can open this up, right? No, yep, I can, <laughs> that was weird. Hmm. I can't do much with these barrels though, which is weird. How am I expected to get up there and deal with that guy? I mean, I guess I could push one of these rolling rocks into it, I think that works. I mean, he'll hop off all by himself though. Maybe that was like a hint or something. Why'd I do that? Oh, he got hit by the rock there. Huh, interesting, I didn't know what happened. Is that not everybody? Where's there like, oh yeah, there's the Octorok hiding. Yeah, that's what these things are called, right? I think so. So that was interesting. Up this way. Got lots going on. The enemies aren't particularly too tough though. So I think this is the last guy up this way. There's our diamond. So can I hop up this thing? I can't. So what's the point of it? I don't know. I mean, I could have pushed it into an enemy or something, I guess. I could have, I don't know, done something else with it. it what, what would have happened? Let me experiment with that a little bit. If I did this, it'd just be per permanent tempo up for that area. Oh, okay, here's another interesting thing. Okay, oh wait, there's a Kuko. I don't wanna fight the Kuko. Leave the Kuko alone. He hasn't done anything to me, or she. Ow. Thought I could pierce through shields. I guess not. Weird. Well, there's a couple more enemies down this way. Yeah, get rid of you as soon as I can. And there we go, we got it. <laughs> a little little Kuko's. Oh no, I, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to, I'm so sorry, the poison. Oh, now you're mad. Now you're mad, let me activate that and run away. <laughs> I just wanted to see what happened. Can I talk to them or something? I guess it's a silly thing to think. Uh, but there's another fairy. Hello, my love, Let, let's get you feeling better. So it looks like she doesn't say anything different. Oh yeah, why not have a look at my infusions? Uh, that weapon looks like it's been seen better days. Make sure to equip the weapon you want to infuse first, yeah. Well, I don't wanna infuse anything else right now, I don't think, but I will take a look. Um. Infuse your current weapon with Ruby. Well, what does it do? Life drain or plus one damage. I think that'd be pretty good for the sword, but why would I need a sword if I have the spear? I feel like I just wanna hold on for now, because I wanna see what our selection is the next time we die, but we've got a long time without dying now. I'm getting pretty proud of ourselves. It's like, we're doing great. So what's this way? Quite a lot. Quite a lot of enemies, at the least. And I'm, I've probably missed like a ton of secrets at this point. And I feel really bad about that, but I feel like this is sort of the best way to do this, is to explore a bunch first. Oh, I'm so sorry. The Kukos really make this tough. Ow. Because it's just hard to go around them. I guess that's, they're actually like a challenge in this game. Like most Kukos are just sort of like a little gag. You know, it's just sort of a joke. Oh, we reached a little town, Kakariko Village. Oh, that's so cool. I don't know if I want to explore this a lot in today's episode. I don't know how much time we have left. But this is awesome. Is there maybe, I wanna if I activate the slate right here, and then maybe I'll explore this a little bit more next episode. Cause that seems like it could be fun. But right now I just wanna explore and beat up more enemies. Because I don't know how many characters there'll be and how many of them I have to talk to and all that kind of stuff. That could eat up a lot of time on itself. So I wanna, each episode probably, that's sort of the thing, you know, like in some games it's pretty easy. I just go, okay, with like each world I complete, it'll be an episode or each chapter of the game. But with something like Zelda, 
It's all about expiration and the amount of time it takes you to get certain things accomplished is very non-linear. So it might take me, you know, 30 minutes to find one dungeon and beat it and like two hours to find the next one, depending on the circumstance. So that's where things get a bit complicated. Now, with this, how do I want to do this? I, I, I sort of see that, oh, I get five rupees from that one. And then maybe I could push this over. I can't push it out of the water, ooh. Hmm. So yeah, it's gonna fall in the water as well. I might have to leave and come back because I wanna get up there to deal with that jelly. Oh, this chest has a timer to unlock the chest to feed all the enemies before the time expires. Gotcha. Hmm. I'm thinking I could, I don't know if that'd work actually. Yeah, just trying to figure out what I can do here. Because if I did this, I mean, it'll hit the tree? Okay, it'll hit the tree. But then like, what do I do from here? I don't know how to get up there. It's a tricky thing. Oh, I can, oh, this is dirt. This is diggable dirt. Well, now I know. There's my diamond. I wonder if there's more I could have done then. Who knows? There we go. I got that done at the least. So let me take a look at the map. Like, what there, is there, oh, okay. So if you see, there is some kind of secret here I've yet to find. I wonder what that is. Here it is, I found it. Whoa. A bit crowded in here, don't you think? Oh gosh, she's on me, I don't like that. Who would? Oh, I need to get rid of that coffin. Because that was spawning more enemies. I love how goofy everybody looks in this game, it's great. Okay, we got reflect projectiles. Is that better than item sight? I don't know. I don't think we need it, we got a shield for that. Good to keep in mind, but so many different items you can get. So let's see, would that still say that? It still does say that here, as you can see. Um, that there's like, you know, something to find. So of course we've got the desert over this way. Man, we've explored a lot of the game map already. But I don't know how long of a game this is supposed to be. I mean, I'm supposed to fight the four evil dudes. I haven't fought any evil dudes so far. Like, I feel like I should go back and maybe look at this area, but I feel like that's something we'll save until next episode or something. I don't know. Like, I feel like that's where Kakariko Village could be very helpful and maybe give us some uh, vision on where to go next and what to do. But in the meantime, if there's still more grassland enemies I can take out, I wanna focus on that. Whoa, I don't like that very much. We have a good couple of keys now. Got it, nice. All right, put a stop to you. Hmm, so I just need to, ooh, I see a bombable spot here. Ow, <laughs> I dodged one point of damage. Actually, sort of, not really. But got hit by a much more serious one. There it is, and there's my diamond. My 15 diamonds. All right, ow. There it goes. Okay. That's not good. There it is, what is, oh, glass broadsword. Let's take a look at that. Deals three damage to three adjacent enemies ahead of you. Breaks if you get hit. So, of course, with the broadsword, as we learned in the first episode, if something is toward, you know, towards the, you know, left or right of us, we can still hit them like that. And there's our diamond. Oh, we get a boomerang! You got the boomerang assigned to A, B, X, or Y on the inventory screen. Throw this at enemies to stun them. It always finds its way back to you. Huh. Okay. What's weird is I feel like we've, we've gotten a lot done in today's episode, but I feel like we still haven't gotten anything technically accomplished in some ways, you know? Um, in the way that like we haven't like, okay, I went and got this guy defeated. We just sort of ran around and got a lot of things, which is great, but it is sort of weird. So what's going on here with, I don't know what that blue thing is. What was this area? Oh, is this a fairy? Is that what that symbol is? Yes, it is. Okay, see, so yeah, I wanna heal up. I mean, I think the biggest thing we did was upgrade our weapons. Like, that seems like a permanent upgrade as far as I can tell. We, you know, tried to get close to Hyrule Castle, didn't do too much for us. All right then, so you know what, maybe we'll finish it up with that. We explored a lot in today's episode. 
and next episode we'll go to Kakariko Village. We'll check that out, and then also, um, we'll see if I can't find. Oh boy, there we go. Whoa, I'm dodging, <laughs> dodging cuckoos everywhere. Um, we'll also see if we can't find a dungeon of some sort. But for right now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Cadence of Hyrule. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Link. So now you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra Tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.